Good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Preparation is now underway for the first and only debate in the 8th Congressional District race. Airing right here on WBAY TV2 Friday night. That's right. Republican Tony Weed and Dr. Kristen Lyerly, the Democrat, will take the stage as the two candidates are seeking to replace Mike Gallagher, who resigned last spring. Chief political reporter Jason Zimmerman has a preview of what to expect. He's live at the site of that debate. Jason. Kami, I know we're preparing as well with you serving as the moderator and myself asking questions. Along with a reporter from the Green Bay Press Gazette, that debate will take place at the Mothy Center right behind me on the campus of UW Green Bay with extremely high stakes for the two people on stage. As the clock ticks towards Friday's 8th Congressional Debate, being broadcast live on WBAY-TV2, Robert Pine with the Mothy Center is busy making sure everything is in place. They're going to be here on matching podiums, and your fixed cameras are going to go there. Okay. He's also excited to host the event, knowing it will give voters a better understanding of where Dr. Kristen Lyerly and Tony Weed stand on a variety of issues. The format will be each candidate will have a 60-second opening statement and then we're going to move to questions that will be unknown to everybody, certainly including me, but including the candidates. Uh, questions developed by political reporters, you and Jesse Lynn from the Green Bay Press Gazette. Two college students will also ask a question each, and neither candidate will be allowed to have notes. Lawrence University professor Arnold Schober says it's a chance for voters to see how each person reacts when presented with some uncertainty. That's especially important in congressional races because the level of information voters have for Congress is very low to begin with. And so this is one of the few opportunities that voters have to see the two candidates who want to represent us. The debate will also have a live audience in a building that can hold up to 250 people. Organizers say doors will open at 6 o'clock an hour beforehand. It's also going to be important that any live audience understands the ground rules that they, there will be no applause, there will be no catcalls, there will be no, no whistles, no signs. The audience is going to be silent and on good behavior. Again, you can watch the debate live here on WBAY or online at WBAY.com starting at 7 on Friday night. It is scheduled to last one hour. Reporting live in Green Bay, Jason Zimmerman, Action 2 News.